Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, I don't know what day it is. I think it's a Tuesday, 2nd of March. Just trying to get back into a rhythm. Um, and these videos are part of my rhythm. Uh, wake up, look at the markets, uh, get an idea how to make money uh, tactically trading, and then go on with the rest of my day, which is fairly different used to be not not uh, taking the piss but uh, Abu Dhabi is slightly different than uh, Switzerland getting up and swimming in the Arabian Ocean and then starting work at 9 30 10 but working until sort of 9 30 10 it's a different vibe it's a different rhythm so uh, just getting used to it and uh, I think these videos will help uh, help me if they help you. Um, I, I actually couldn't really give a rat's ass. Um, I guess Mick cares a little bit, my, my little Irish buddy. But uh, anyway, uh, let's get on with it here. Euro lower. Um, this is like QE driven. Uh, ECB is basically saying like all central banks, it's a race to the bottom, right? I mean, uh, more stimulus, more stimulus, more stimulus, terrified, 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 try and devalue your currency, devalue your currency. It's one of the reasons Bitcoin is so, um, so wildly uh, enjoyed these days. Now we're getting down towards the bottom of the range though. So if you're short some euros here, um, you can take a breath and um, start clawing, clawing some back. I don't think this is going to get back down below this sort of 119.50 area. Uh, and eventually this is going to turn around and head back up because the devaluation of the dollar is going to um, take precedence over the devaluation of the euro or the devaluation of the yen. So. We saw the BOJ come out and say they're going to defend interest rates. At some point, you can't defend them anymore, right? The market forces are going to take over, and this is this is my uh, premise for this year. Um, people are just going to start questioning these these fiscal deficits and the ability um, to pay back. And it's not like the U.S. will ever default. But at some point, they'll have to devalue their currency so much that it's kind of like a default. It's like a sneaky default. That's a conversation for another day. But anyway, uh, you want to pick up some euros down here, 119.50. If you're short, you should start taking your shit back uh, and try and throw some longs on here. Um, anywhere below 120, down to 120, 118. Cable. Um, I mean, we talked about it, I think, last week. I don't even know if I published that video about running out of gas up at 144. We did not sell. Uh, this could go pretty much anywhere. Um, so no real strong view there. I'm guessing that somewhere between 137.5 and 135.5, and this is a buy. Uh, but nothing pressing for today to do in cable. You can see the market did not like... Um, the market sold yen when BOJ was barking about controlling interest rates. It's really nothing new. Let's face it, interest rates have been um, controlled for a long time there. Is this going to pop through 107? I don't think first time, 92 the high today. There should be some uh, Japanese offers first time at 107. The figure institutional, institutional Japanese will be there, I am very sure. So it's probably fade first time, and then maybe later in the week it breaks. Let's see what U.S. interest rates do. Dollar Swiss. Ba-boom. Got a call yesterday from uh, a buddy of mine who's, like, pissing his pants about Sterling Swiss. Sterling Swiss has been going down for 10 fucking years. Um, now it goes up for, like, uh, two months, and people are shitting themselves, and they didn't, they didn't hedge properly. I find that humorous. Um... But anyway, dollar Swiss is going to continue higher as long as U.S. rates remain higher. Sterling Swiss, for the sake of 
my anonymous friend also is going to continue higher, right? Keep in mind, in the scheme of things, Sterling's Fist, we are at the super low end of the of the range, of the historical range. 127 is hysterically low. So if you've got Swiss francs to change into sterling, which not many of you do, frankly, um, this guy is moving a pension out of Switzerland back to the UK. Um, just, just change it and thank your lucky fucking stars um, because you probably entered into this pension at 180 um, and now we're at 127. So don't be a dick for a pip is what they say in the business. Um, just change your pension, close your eyes, whatever on your Revolut card or however you're going to do it with interactive brokers. Um, but Sterling Swiss, I think, is going to go higher. I think the Swiss franc is, is going to be driven by dollar Swiss. Uh, and it's going to keep, dollar Swiss is going to keep heading higher as long as U.S. rates stay robust. Cross yen, not a lot to say here. Let's go to these weekly charts. We talked about it on um, Twitter about how difficult, here's the Kiwi Yen chart, how difficult these charts are, right? So we had a big squeeze in risk on yesterday. I think uh, vol VQ, or my buddy uh, vol Volatility Quan or whatever his name, he put it best yesterday. He was short fear. So basically everyone who was short risk got stopped yesterday. Um, but this weekly pattern is still wildly intact. Um, you can't really be short Kiwi again with a stop way up here. At 79.30, your risk reward is just destroyed. So just be careful here. Be patient. I, do, I don't think this risk on is going to have legs and last. Um, one of the things we have to watch is basically CRB, Commodities Index. The other thing we have to watch are interest rates. Uh, and the third thing we have to watch is uh, stimulus, see what the Senate does to this package. But Kiwi Yen is a fade somewhere. I think the most sensible fade is, is around 78, 78 cents, 78 yen. Um, well, what are the pros going to do? They're going to wait and just smash it down through 77. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to be selling through 77. We're going to add through this trend line uh, with professional stops. Uh, this is how we roll. Darkad turning a bit here. Um, not really sure what to do with this. This is a very interesting high. This was last last week's high, 127.50. Uh, maybe we're going to do like a little shoulder here. So this will be the head, shoulder, do a little, little shoulder here. And then Friday, we smash through 127.50. Could be a likely scenario. You never front run a head and shoulders, but you know, you want to keep it on the frontal lobe and be ready. 127.50 is the key. Dollars are, uh, we sold 10s yesterday. We were bidding 88s. Uh, you can see this fucking cunt went to 89.50. Uh, we did not get those. We're still core long. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't think we're going to, I don't think we're going to stop those shorts, those tactical shorts out yet. At 10, I think we're going to wait. I still think this is going to probably go sideways here for today. We may try and um, we may try and take something back. 95, 92. Uh, when the hell did that thing go to 89? Stupid bastards. I can't get no sleep. That's my bad, really. But, you know, I'm doing other things, so I can't really worry about uh, FX as much as I used to. Anyway, 1503 now. Uh, we think this is going to go way higher. Um, but we need full risk to turn. Um, 
Is this something that we should be looking at? Probably. Here's your sort of downtrend line. All of these trend lines, including ES, uh, are important. ES, wow, all the way up to 06 yesterday. What a fuck job. People got just annihilated. Shorts got annihilated. Um, this is the trend line we're watching. We just tickled it on Friday. The hourlies went through. Um, you know, the hourly line was at 90. We did trade down to 85, but it quickly reversed. The weeklies are still intact. When this line breaks, um, you know, bring out the sledgehammer. Anyway, I've gone 10 minutes here. I think I'm babbling. I'm babbling a bit here, just trying to get back in the groove. I will leave this with you. Uh, today, we're just range trading. Um, you know, we'll be looking to buy some Rand, dollar Rand down in the 90s. Uh, we will actually be fading ES, uh, but not until we get up to 39, 20, 30. So we'll be, we'll be selling high ones, stretch high ones in ES, be buying some uh, dollar rand in the 90s. Uh, and as far as any tactical trades in um, FX, nothing really that really we love, sort of tactical entries. This 137.50s for later in the week. Um, dollar Swiss, you just want to try and buy dips, but... Don't chase this, right? Where's the 10 year yield? 141. This is just going to hang out up here, I think. Anyway, I've said enough. Listen, I will uh, say more tomorrow. Good luck out there, people. Uh, have a good